Hello and welcome to This Land is My Land. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video series, we are going to create a comprehensive beginner's guide to show you how to be successful and lead your tribe to reclaiming your land. So let's jump in from the beginning. We are going to enter our name, Shadow Coast. Now, you will have options that will impact your early gameplay. Um, so you can make trade-offs as you go. I recommend that you look at each one so you understand what the trade-offs are. Can you carry less weight? Do you have more health, etc.? Some of these can have lasting impacts. Um, you know, having you know high stamina so you can run around versus high health where you can tank. All of that can be good or bad depending on your play style. I am personally going to select the deer where I will sacrifice having a warrior for additional skill points because I believe that is going to be critical to my early game in my style. We're going to do a hard start. Uh, insane start is extremely difficult if you are just starting the game. I personally recommend that you pick normal so you can learn it but if you're watching this guide hopefully you'll become an expert so you can take on insane uh, but I'll leave that up to you so it will take us a minute to load we're kind of generating the area we're going to start and determining and determining um, where you know our initial starting spot pause there for a minute because it was a little louder in my headphones than I expected okay so we're gonna jump in here so now is a good time right before it's unloading to say I'm actively trying to grow my channel so if you do go on to find this content enjoyable and helpful please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and dropping videos you enjoy a thumbs up so we are going to cover a lot of the intro uh, to the game. So you will start the game with your main camp. This is our main camp, which is fantastic. So we're gonna go over some basics. So in this video, we're gonna focus on a few things. Uh, focus on crafting, uh, we're gonna do an overview of skill points, and then we're also going to show you tribe management and camp building. So let's start off with the tutorial of crafting wooden bows and arrows. If you click tab, this is your key resource. So by clicking tab, you open up your inventory, your crafting ability, um, your skills, all that fun stuff. In the top left here, if you click on craft, we are going to craft a wooden bow. So the first bow we can craft. We're also going to craft some wooden arrows so we complete this mission. All right, so having five arrows is not gonna do too much for us, so we need more arrows. We're gonna go run around and look for hickory, which will allow us to craft more arrows. So here's the nice thing. For this mission, it's marked. It basically grabs all hickory that are close to us. I'm going to show you how to do that even after you're out of the tutorial because it will be extremely important. And some more here. So now that we've got all the sickery, we're going to oh, need one more. We are going to craft. Oh, we will craft and well, technically we're done with that one. Okay, so we've crafted our, our arrows. One item I recommend is just upgrade to the arrow instead of the wooden arrow. It does so much more damage and it's only 150. So we're gonna upgrade there and it costs five wood just like the other one does, but it does way more damage and is way better in general. So that's great. Now, in general, there are times where you're gonna want to create objectives so you can basically identify where resources are. So if I wanted to create another bow, I can click create objective 
I say how many bows I want to create. I'm actually going to do two because that's a lot of resources and search ingredients. Literally what it's going to do is start looking around me for ingredients, right? So as I'm running to different areas, it will constantly search for those ingredients. Now, unfortunately, in my starting area, I don't have those ingredients at all because I already picked up all the hickory. So unfortunately, there aren't any additional ingredients. So that's how that works. Um, what you can do is on your objectives, we're collecting wood for a bow. You can close it if you get tired of it and just cancel out that objective. Uh, so at any time you can cancel the objective. If I run over here and I'm just going to go to craft, we're going to go create objective and we'll see, are there any, there aren't. If there were, they would appear and it would direct me to it. So I have to search for more later on. They'll pop up as I come across them. Tribe management. So that's, that's crafting. Um, and that's the first area you use skill points. Use skill points to upgrade and be able to create bigger and better items. The sinew bow is pretty nice. The war bow is even nicer. But that's a lot of SP, 1600. I recommend not worrying about upgrading your bows until later. Um, I would put your skill points in skills. So we're going to come over to skills. Few items here. Off the bat, you start with the ability to carry 40 weight. I recommend increasing your backpack capacity for the early game. I also recommend depending on how good you are at the game, increasing your health by 45. Now, for us, I'm going to try to use stealth, so I'm not going to worry about my health as much. One item that you want, you absolutely want, is skinning level 1. You will receive zero pelts, which is super frustrating, unless you get the first skinning ability. So basically, once we get this, which we're going to pick up, we now have a 33% chance of between, you know, up to 33% chance of receiving a pelt when we kill animals and skin them. I spent the first time I played this game killing hundreds and hundreds of animals in the game, and I didn't get a single pelt because I did not realize I needed a click and put points into skinning level one to just have the possibility to do it. So that's important. Other important skills, I do recommend tribe gathering uh, because it increases the amount of resources gathered, which we'll get into. I also recommend spyglass because that is a skill you can use and we'll show you how to use skills here in a minute. So. Let's move to tribe management. Tribe management, by clicking tab, eventually you're gonna have lots of tribes all over the map, or excuse me, lots of bases or camps all over the map will be one tribe. If you click on the camp and they'll kind of list out. So as you gain camps, they'll kind of populate down here so you can manage them. So if I click on my camp, I can send my warriors to do different things. There are two main things that you can do. Um, at least early game that you want to do. There's lots of things you can do. Two main things we're going to focus on right now. The first is gathering resources. We can send our warriors out to gather resources. So in this case, we need to gather flax. Flax is important. We don't need to give them a weapon. Flax is important because it allows you to create rope as well as create bows. So flax is a key resource. How do I know that? Well, if I click on craft, if I hover over bow, I need five flax to create a wooden bow. Um, I need flax to create rope, which is also important. So flax is a key resource. We're going to want flax. Now orders. So I'm going to click on my camp. I'm going to issue an order. Orders. Orders, the way orders work are the amount of the item that you create. So if I set this to six, our camp will create six wooden bows. So they'll keep producing bows until they're six. So come back here, look at orders. Once this is six out of, right now it's zero out of six. Once this is six out of six, they're done with bows. 
I'll see the order here, but they're none because they created six bows. Now, if I take a bow, they'll create another one to get back up to six. So that's how ordering works. And ordering is super important because you can tee up a bunch of orders that will set you up for success and they'll just keep chipping away at it, fulfilling it. So we're going to add in another order for arrows because we need arrows to, you know, use with the bow. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to set this to 20 arrows, well, 30 arrows. Why not? So everybody has enough arrows. They'll keep producing arrows until they hit 30 and then they're done. Now, here's the deal. You can prioritize one item. Right now we have wooden bows prioritized, so all the resources they gather will go to wooden bows. Here's another really quick hit. You might not see arrow because this arrow unlocks after you unlock it in crafting. So if you have not done what I did by click unlock using your skill points, that option will not be available to create. You have to basically learn it. And that's why skill points are so important. They impact your personal skills, they impact your tribe skills, they impact the ability to craft different items. Okay, thinking early game. We want to tee up several different items. First, we're going to want meat to feed our people. I recommend setting the meat at or above the number in your camp. So once you have eight out of eight, they'll all have meat. If you do not gain meat or send people out for meat, they will starve to death and die and not be happy. To get meat, you require a bows and arrows in the camp inventory. So we have those, so that should be good. So once they're done with this stuff, they'll then focus on meat. And we actually have some meat to start with over here. Um, you can see them kind of, you know, a deer here. So we're not like pressed for meat. And if we come over here to our little camp stockpile, um, we're empty, but it's okay. They'll, they'll be able to get meat, so you don't have to worry about it, like, right at the beginning. But after um, a few days, you will have to worry about it. Next, we're going to want to have flax out the wazoo. I recommend gathering, um, we'll do 10 flax, but it'll just get, to, like, you know, they'll use it enough to get more of it. After flax... I recommend wood. We're going to need wood for the arrows. So we're going to set this to be 10 wood. Now, just thinking about upgrading camps later on, I'm going to add a two, two other items here. We're going to add rope. Rope, as we showed, is going to be produced from flax, as well as, well as the bows. And we're also going to go with boar pelt. They're going to need bows and arrows to do this. 10 boar pelt. Rope, boar pelt, and wood is are going to be used to upgrade the lowest level camp. Right now, if we look at upgrade, our camp's actually upgraded twice. So we're at level 3 right now. So to get to level 4, we need 20 boar tusks, 20 stag pelts, 5 buffalo pelts. Not easy to get. Now, depending on our starting location, buffaloes can be very hard to come by. And then on top of that, we have to skin them. So right now we only have a 33% chance of receiving a pelt when we skin them. So upgrading our main camp is pretty difficult. Upgrading side camps or little camps like this neutral camp over here will require 10 rope, 10 boar pelt, and I think 10 wood. And so those are the easiest things to upgrade. And check out my how to upgrade your camp video because uh, I go into much more depth on that, which we're not going to cover right now. Okay, our warriors will go out and fulfill these orders, and, um, you know, which will be good. Now, one of the, the key things here is, is that at any given time, you need one person in your camp. So if this is one out of eight, and you get frustrated that that one person is sitting around camp, that's okay. They're maintaining the camp. You always have to have one person in your camp um, in this game, at least for now. Otherwise, poof, the camp goes away and you lose it. So continuing with our tutorial, we need to enlist the help of a trusty mount. So run up to the horse, hold down Z, and you can craft your desired horse. So we're going to go with a 
black stallion here. Um, I like this one because our Shadow Coast colors are red, white, and... Well, not red, white, and blue. They are black, white, and blue, uh, which we're going to do here. And this will be Cairo, our war horse. So, Cairo, welcome to the team. Okay. A couple more items here. Um, we're just running through the basics here, and then we'll put them into practice in the next video. So if you're tired of just seeing how things are, or if you want to see how things are done in the actual game, jump to the next video in the series. Skills. We unlock skills using skill points, but as we unlock skills, and I unlock the spyglass skills, to use that skill, hold down E. By holding down E, you can select different skills, so you have to hold it down and select it. I learned spyglass. If you did not learn that skill, you, this will not show up. With Spyglass, if I hold down G, G uses the uh, G uses the skill. So you hold G. We're using the Spyglass. We can look at a distance. I personally like Spyglass because you can then identify enemies and eventually mark them to track. Holding down one will open up your weapon wheel. Right now we have a wooden bow. We can use stun arrows, wooden arrows. Kind of sucks. We will upgrade to a better bow shortly. Holding down two will open usable items. These are items that we can use so we can lay traps, we can lay bait, we can eat food and other items to regain health or stamina. Uh, so holding down one, select your weapon and the ammo for it if applicable. Uh, hold down two, use usable items hold down e select your skill so we can call our horse once we've selected our skill holding g allows us to use that skill uh, which is super helpful we're going to conclude this video here in a minute but i do want to show you one last thing right now we have an objective to go find the old camp and find leftover items by right clicking on the map, so you use your scroll your scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. By right clicking on the map, you create a waypoint. If you right click on the map and have a waypoint, if you hold or click ta uh, caps lock, it will have you auto travel there. This is so nice because you can open up tab, you can look at inventory, you can be sending out um, objectives and things to do. Like I'm going to send. A warrior out to gather wood because we need a bunch of wood um, and they'll go do that and I can just be traveling as we go so as I'm traveling we are gonna come across this other little camp so these are people we can interact with and we can ask them to join our tribe so we're gonna run up here and ask them to join our tribe will you join our fight we will join you as soon as you have nine warriors. So they will not join us until I have nine warriors to my name. Uh, so we will wait. Now we can kind of hide on different sides as we ride. Sometimes you do get stuck, so you just need to uh, path around. Um, and then once you get to a good point, you can reroute, and then it will reroute for you. Okay. Over here, this thing over here is an outpost. So we're going to go look at the outpost. And at the outpost, I do recommend you pick up all the outposts because they allow you to do two things. So one is save. We're going to hold F. One is save the game, which is important. Two, it will allow us to fast travel between different areas later on. Early game, not that big of a deal, but once you start expanding out here to get from here all the way over to here is a pain, so you're going to want to be able to fast travel, uh, which will be extremely helpful. All right, this is a little morbid, um, but they came and slaughtered this camp. Luckily, there was stuff hidden. We're going to grab all this hidden stuff, which is super helpful 
on our journey. One thing you'll notice there is we got a nice spanking new bow. So we're going to click on it to make sure we have the better bow at our disposal, which we now do. We also, if we hold down two, we have a bunch of stuff. We can create a bush hideout. So if I'm over here and I want to lay a bush hideout down, I now crouch in my bush hideout. And it's super nice because I can be stealthy and whatnot. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. I'm just going to head back to this little camp or outpost that we had um, and save the game. So thanks so much for watching. You can see I have a pretty good starting location. We have buffalo, uh, but if we don't have boars, it can be difficult because we need boars to get to the mid-level. Buffalo are used to upgrade our camps to call it the higher tier level. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you in future videos.